Today we're going to take a look at my pepper plants. My banana pepper plant has one lonely banana pepper on it, so I'm hoping that this um, starts producing more because it's kind of getting off to a slow start. It's got a few little, I don't know what's going on with it. I just found this when I came to um, the area of my garden that has pepper plants. Not sure what happened to it. It makes me so sad. I may try to put it in some water, but I don't expect it to make it. But look, it already had a pepper on it and a bunch of flowers. But this area here is a spot that I dug up just to put pepper plants that were um, extra because I had not enough room in my main garden to put them. And the grass will not stay out of this bed. And it's in there good. So I kind of just go around the base of my plants and try to keep the grass away from there because I just have so many different areas that I have to take care of. Can't keep this thing completely grass free, but uh, you can see tiny little peppers coming on here. Some of them don't have any flowers yet. And I'm thinking about putting mulch down in this area, but the problem with that is, um, there's a flower. This area is not inside of a fence, and so my dog can get to it, and if she sees me do anything different in my garden, like she thinks I'm putting down fertilizer, which she can smell if I do that, but if I was to put mulch here right now, she may come dig in this area. So until I get a fence put up around it, I don't really want to uh, change the look of anything because she just likes to come where I've been and either poop or dig. So I'm just trying to keep the grass away from the plants. But I have, let's see, four, two, I've got about 20 plants in this little plot. One of them is not doing very well at all. So right here is itty bitty. But I'm gonna try to get some small fencing to put around this area, and once I do that, then I will finish pulling out this grass and mulch it. But the peppers, they look okay. I think the pepper plants are doing okay. And I'm gonna show you the pepper plants in my main garden also. This one right here has lots of flowers on it. But uh, no peppers yet. These few right here are bell peppers. This one has about five on it. bell pepper. I need to stake this one. The plant looks good. Here's another one. I would say I probably have around 40 pepper plants, um, which it's a mix of sweet and just a couple. Like this one right here is a spicy one. This is a Korean chili pepper. And I'm really scared of spicy, so I'll just be making some pepper sauce, which is, when I say pepper sauce, I mean put the peppers in vinegar and let the um, let them just kind of get a little bit of the spice in the vinegar. I don't like to actually eat the peppers, but my husband will eat the peppers, so they will not get wasted. These are my Kwabaki peppers, and I'm really ready to try one of these. But on the Baker Creek site, which is where these came from, it let, uh, most of them look like they're either a red yellow or orange color, so I'm just gonna leave them a little bit longer until they start to turn. But I am happy with how this little bush is built out. And it's got a lot of blooms on it, so I think it's gonna be a really prolific uh, producer. Here's another Korbaki pepper, and these, I just, unless these have terrible flavor, I will be growing these again, because the plant is just, it's tiny, but it's filling out already. So, see, it's a small plant. This is the orange bell pepper plant. I'm not started to turn color yet. They're a good size, so I'm just watching these because I don't want them to get any kind of damage on them, and hopefully they can stay on there until they start to turn, but I'd be happy with bell peppers, just regular bell pepper. I just wanted to try some variety. Those look good. A little bitty pepper right here. This one is labelless. I don't know what happened to the label, but I've got several like that. It'll be all right. We'll figure it out. 
but the plant is nice and bushy. I think it's gonna do well. This is my Ingrid pepper, and it does have several peppers on it, and it's interesting, these are growing up, almost like a little flower, see that? So, pretty sure this is a sweet pepper. It kind of looks like a bell pepper right now that's just growing up. The plant looks very healthy. Love pepper plant plants. They're just so pretty to me. Nice green leaves. Then right here next to it, I've got a, I'm not sure how you pronounce this at, Aji Lemon. And you can see one right here. I feel like these are hot peppers. I think I've got maybe four hot peppers varieties out here. This banana pepper plant has more peppers on it than the other one. So this one seems to be doing better. It's got those right there. If you look behind it, you can see the tomatillos are trying to jump in this pot with it. I'm excited about these banana peppers. I do like banana peppers. This little plant, this one right here is labeled as an orange pepper, but it's not an orange pepper. So I am not sure what this is. Kind of looks like banana pepper. But I'm going to be scared with trying these. I'm going to let my husband try ones that I'm not sure of because I don't like any heat. I like very, very mild heat. This one here is a yellow pepper, and it's got a little cluster of peppers right there. So it is doing pretty nicely. See, there's a couple more. This one is one of my favorite um, plants, the way it looks, um, out of all the pepper plants that I have. And this is a Scotch Bonnet Sweet Pepper. So I'm very excited to try this one because I know Scotch Bonnet's supposed to have a neat flavor, but it's supposed to be really hot. So I'm curious to try this new variety. It's got some little flowers on it, so shouldn't be too long. This is my mild jalapeno pepper. I should have more than one of these plants, but somehow I ended up with one. So hoping it's a heavy producer because I love Here's another mystery one. It looks like shishito. I tried to plant a lot of shishito because I love those peppers. They're so good, sauteed, just in oil with a little salt. But for some reason, my seeds weren't coming up. And then I started some several times and I don't know, I lost the labeling on these, but these are looking like it's a shishito plant and I really hope so. This one here is a shishito. Doesn't have any peppers on it yet, so. Hopefully that other one is a shishito also, and I'll have a couple plants. I think I've got three. Look at this cute little trellis that my husband made for my cayenne pepper. I just think it's adorable. I wish I could have one for each pepper plant, but that would take a long time. Let's see, there's some cayenne peppers. Just looking nice. This is another one of the same kind that adds varsity. It's only got one on it too, and no flowers in sight. So hopefully these plants will pick up. This one right here is another, just a regular bell pepper plant. It's got some noodle babies on it. And evidently this is a russet potato. So I don't know what this is. Shishito. And I've got another tiny shishito right here. And that's it for the peppers. Thank you for watching and please take a moment to like and subscribe. See you next time.